That's how it was that night, that Easter night. As the story goes from John chapter 20, when it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Yeah, that's the way it was that Easter night. I, I know that we're moving into the season of Pentecost, and Sunday will be Pentecost Sunday, but I want to linger in Easter just a little bit longer. And this story was the story that intrigued me because in some ways, this story is the one that links both Easter and Pentecost together. You see, it starts with those Jewish leaders causing fear among the disciples. You see, that's what was referred to by them being afraid of the Jews. It was the Jewish leaders they were afraid of, and, and why not? I mean, they knew that they were accomplices of Jesus. They knew that they were a part of this Jesus crew that was trying to disrupt the status quo. At least that's how those leaders would have seen them. But there was another reason for them to be afraid as well. You see, the story had gone out that the body of Jesus was no longer in the tomb. And because of that, they would have been afraid that they would have gotten the blame. So they were afraid and they, they locked themselves away in that room. But you know what? A locked door does not keep Jesus out. And so this is what happens. There they were locked up and afraid. And Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus then said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And then when he had said this, he breathed on them. And he said, Receive the Holy Spirit. You see that connection that John's Gospel gives us that on this Easter night, Easter and Pentecost come together. But what's interesting to me is that they come together in the midst of a locked door. Easter and Pentecost come together in the midst of fear and anxiety and concern and worry worry about what was going to happen next, unsure about what the next day would bring. And yet into that midst, Jesus comes with a message. Peace be with you. He says it twice. The first time he says it after, right before showing him them his hands and his side. In other words, peace be with you. I am physically here with you. I am present among you peace be with you. But then the second time he says it is when he's giving them the gift, the gift of the Holy Spirit, the one who's also been called the Comforter. Peace be with you. Receive the recreating breath of God. You see, perhaps those disciples were remembering that creation story when God breathed life into Adam and Eve and filled their lungs and they lived. Peace be with you. I am physically here among you. No locked door is going to keep me away from you. Peace be with you. I am here to give you comfort and peace and the breath of life. Easter and Pentecost are brought together through the Gospel of John. Now I know that on Sunday we are going to be celebrating Pentecost and when we do that we are going to be celebrating it with fire and we're going to be talking about wind and the power of the Spirit that came in and took those disciples where they were sitting up off their seats and helped them proclaimed, proclaim in different languages about the love and power of God. I know that that's what we're going to be celebrating on Sunday, but today... Before we get to Sunday, I wanted us to hear this message as well. Because you know, for some of us, as we enter into Pentecost, we perhaps may not feel ready yet for the power that comes to us, the way Acts tells us the story of Pentecost. Perhaps we need to hear 
how being behind locked doors is not going to keep Jesus away. Perhaps we need to hear in the midst of our anxiety and worry and stress that God's presence is there and the breath of God can fill us. Whichever message speaks most to you, don't ever forget that message that Jesus told his disciples that first Easter, not once, but twice. Peace be with you. And peace be with you.